to all of you that are joining us uh, on, on video here at Inside Gallery in Fredericksburg. I'm Bruce Green, and uh, this is uh, our solo, my solo exhibition. Uh, we call the early hours uh, uh, because so much of it's about, it's about this, this cowboy world that is, is something that I love so much, and those of you who've seen the work that I do, you understand that and you've seen that, but uh, so much of that's done in those early magical hours. And so uh, I began to see that as I, as I worked with the, these paintings and these drawings, sculpture, that that was, it had a pretty common theme running through that. So welcome and, and uh, this is our virtual tour of the show that we've got going. So. Uh, we're, firstly, we're standing in front of the largest painting that I have in the in the uh, in the show. This is out or from out from the oak mott, out from the oak mott, and this is a story that I've t I've told before. I told it in sculpture a few months ago. We'll show that one to you in a second. But it's about that guy that's just going along and he's just kind of minding his own business, and he's this guy's going to run and rope a cow or a calf down over here and goes by a, a lot of oak trees and blows up this 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 buck deer out from there and he's riding a colt and you can see that with a uh, little ring snaffle that he he's got here to drive this thing and and uh, and this this colt blows up and so he's got a problem in a big hurry okay so and if you're gonna i i, I feel like if you're gonna paint a white tail buck in your painting you might get a pretty good one so uh, <laughs> uh, and and the, some people miss or you miss it at first is in the background here's where I've got a little doe standing back in here and you know these these doe seems like if the action is going away from them they'll they're so curious they'll just stand there and watch the whole thing so that's what uh, we we've got going on here and it was a lot of fun to do a lot of it I did plein air down in here this is just from from uh, our place and those those long winter grasses and their fall colors in there. So that painted a sculpture, if we come back here, this sculpture that goes, kind of goes with that same idea, I called While Riding the Canyon Rim. And uh, that, that piece would just have just a little while and it uh, was fortunate to win the, about three different awards in the Cowboy Artists of America uh, show and sale. So, uh, but it's that same kind of story of that horse blowing up, and we've got the buck and the doe here. And but in this case, I put it right on the edge of a rim, and kind of in hanging way back over here. So it's a, it, the composition, and, and what we want to see with the composition and sculpture. So much of the time, I want to move you through that thing in in kind of an oval or an egg shaped fashion and let you flow through that and back around. So uh, that's, that's a piece that we've been real excited about and had a great reaction from. So paintings, uh, further paintings in the show, uh, a cold morning on, on the cap rock. This little painting's like 15 and a half by 15 and a half inches and, and, and comes from mornings I've spent on the JA Ranch. And this is up on the cap rock looking south early in the morning and that the cold wind will come across there and just freeze you to death. And, but but if we left from headquarters that morning, we would have already ridden you know six, eight, ten miles. I don't know, out to this point. Uh, so you know your horse would be warmed up, and, and maybe you'd be feeling some of that yourself. But uh, uh, that color that we'd see up on the Cap Rock in the Paladura Canyon, all in in behind. Me. Okay, so um, coming if we come back over this way, a little, little watercolor that I did. I just call no drugstore because this uh, this this R, this R D horn. I've worked with R D many many times, many uh, on the J A ranch, and and uh, and R R D is certainly the real deal, and just a fun little piece that you know you can kind of put every, anywhere if it's not it's, it's not real large and I really like making these things simple around the outside of that with that white mat on with the white paper 
Uh, this piece is called Working the Wide Open. And uh, I think this is what, 20 by 20, I think. So uh, this is a pasture on the JA Ranch in the Palo Duro Canyon. And it was just, I remember when I came up on that pasture one morning and how wide and it, the expanse was across there. And you could just see for miles over that with just little rolling areas in it. And then we worked cattle through that area and uh, we didn't work them in this direction or like this, but I mean, it was just how it all came together for me. But, but uh, that's where that, that piece came from. I actually did this, this painting plein air to start with and then added the figures in after that. So, uh, this is this one kind of not the early, it could be early evening. It's, uh, it's uh, twilight on the mesa, I guess you would say. But uh, this, I really had fun playing with this vertical composition and setting the, that color in behind our, our horse and rider in, in here and, and getting a perspective that let us get almost that whole figure against the, the lighter sky and just pieces of color. I have uh, another, a new sculpture in the show that we call a little cinchy. Uh, if you've got a horse, <laughs> cinchy meaning if you start to draw up that front cinch and, and uh, it, it, some of them just don't react to, to it very well. And I've had them do about three different kind of things. And the most common thing they'll do, and you might have them tied up to a fence or a trailer or something, is they'll set back and liable to break your, 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 uh, your lead rope if you had a halter on them. So they'll sit back and I've had them just squat down. It's the silliest looking thing you ever saw and just kind of squat down. But the other thing they'll do is just blow up. And so this guy, that's what I wanted to sculpt here on in this occasion is, is that he's just, he, he just pull it, that, that cinch up. And, and, and as he's, as he's, he's done that, his whole thing blows up in front of him. The saddle's just on the verge of just coming completely sideways and he's got a he's got a pretty big mess but again uh, compositionally uh, what I wanted to do was move you around in this circular fashion and and if I were placing it in my in my home I'd have it to where about at this level I love this level because I can look down into the composition and see that flow come through here and move you back around. You can see the rain's coming back, completing this oval back through here and back up through the, back up through the legs. Got this head turned into your focal point here and the horse's head here. So a little cinching. Uh, another little watercolor I did. This is a horse I had. Uh, a few years ago, actually, and this horse I traded, actually, Bill Owen, the great cowboy artist, uh, for this horse, and uh, and he was a, he was a good he was really a, he was really a good horse. He had a lot of energy. As it'd be a way to, to describe him, uh, but uh, but he really did me he did me a, a, a really really good job. Uh, but the last time that I did, I rode him, uh, 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 we, we were on the Jays and my young son Adam was with me. And, and we probably went about, we figured it up, we went about 25 miles that day in a trot or a lope. And he danced the whole time. And I, when I was done, I just told Adam, if, if you ever see me throw a leg over him again, just shoot in here amongst us and put one of us out of our injury. So, uh, but uh, he was fun to paint. <laughs> so, uh, and, and I did a number of drawings for this show in India ink. And I mean, like this is the little bottle of ink and you dip the quill pen in there and, and start, just start to draw. And I love to do these things. And they're, they're a little bit tricky because uh, you, there's not much room for error. You, don't, you can't erase, you know. Uh, but I've got just, and, and, and one thing you'll see as we go through these is that I, I felt like we were looking at different, 
levels or different stages of the evolution of a of a horse training the horse here we've got a this one up here this guy i called it uh well slow and easy i mean he's just trying to get a, a pad up here on this horse without the horse blowing up to start with and he's got a saddle laying on the ground so this is just starting one here uh this was a guy i knew he had a horse he called buddha cat i call this schooling on buddha cat uh in the, but he just spin at that horse and just work him all the time Probably made a great horse out of it. But here, just one, another one where these guys are just, this guy's just using this horse and he's got a rope moving around now and becoming uh, <laughs> functional, I guess. <laughs> he's user friendly, you know. Uh, this is a fun painting of this show. Uh, I, love, I love to do nocturnes, I, I love to do them. And this is actually a, kind of a self portrait. Uh, and uh, I call it feeling small and it's about being being out there in big country you know and 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 looking at that moonlit sky and the expanse of stars and enough moonlight to see the expanse of the country beyond you I put a, a chuck wagon back in here with a lantern and little little campfire could have been even early morning really early toward any light and uh, so that uh, I love doing. I love doing the noc uh, nocturnes. And this 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 horse I, that uh, is, I've got in here is a is a horse off the four sixes. Uh, we call Stogie, about the color of a good cigar. Uh, <clears throat> and he's a lot of fun. He's uh, he's really well bred, and he expects that you will have read his papers before he gets out of the trailer wherever we go. So, uh, uh, this, and that, uh, the, on the ink drawings, the evolution of a horse kind of thing, this is another one of those early moments. Uh, but uh, here I put in a cubby, a quail, we'll call this flushed. I've done this in sculpture and in painting form too. Uh, but, uh, you know, if it's pretty sketchy, if it's pretty worrisome, troublesome, uh, when you're out getting around on a young horse like this, it, it, and I've got a hack of more on this, this is probably just getting the going on this horse, and and come across a cubby of quail, and they blow up, and it, and uh, and and then the horse blows up, and and, uh, and 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 see what and you see what happens. So. Uh, uh, Another pretty fair, fair size, 38 by 38 painting that we I did for, for, for the show. I call uh, uh, As Sunrise Seeks the Riders. And uh, uh, this painting, I, re I wanted to make this painting about, uh, give it a wider uh, perspective, a wider point of view looking out in that magic time to see and see these riders up here in this the sun just just coming up and and these guys are saddled and ready set for one he's this one is uh, this is the guy i never want to be this is the guy that's the last to get saddled but uh uh these are all guys i've worked uh, cattle with and, and actually three of them are no longer with us so uh, it's a real special play for me uh, uh, some more uh, it, one of the horses that got to a, a using point and here too easily traveling around and I wanted to go even in a, a little ink drawing to show a big expanse and a herd of cattle back in there and moving some cattle this one I made it might even be pretty far back because I've got these horned cattle and could have been a cattle drive This little painting here, I just, I love that, that I love this, the, the, the kind of turquoise color that the sky can get in, in uh, early morning or, or late evening, either one. And so I've got, I've got this, uh, we're, this, 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 this would be looking east and I've got the moon uh, coming up and the, 
the sun is setting back over here from your viewpoint as as the viewer here and I, I wanted to play with the color of these these red tones against this uh, turquoise uh, area behind that and we we repeated some of those little pieces of color they're, they're dark in value down in here, but they, they, they pull this all together, I think, the pieces of red that come through here. Uh, I, I call this little piece uh, uh, Pacheco Moon. Pacheco is a, is a ranch up, and a friend of mine runs, uh, Red Cobble runs a ranch up near Clayton, New Mexico, and I've been up there and visited with him. And, and Red is a great a friend, great great horseman and I uh, started uh, uh, a new guy I got to know Rhett back as far back as 1998 on J.A. Ranch and he was first working there uh, so that was <coughs> just a fun kind of little piece to do right there and I, I painted I actually painted it with all kinds of pink and orange and stuff and colors back here like sunrise colors and uh, it sat around the studio for couple of months like that and uh, I one day decided I didn't like it and I came back in here and put the moon in behind that and changed uh, this whole coloration and you can see from underneath little pieces of that pink and orange and stuff back in there so <coughs> uh, this piece is called Saddle House Light and uh, this is on the JA Ranch next to the old saddle house i mean i don't know how old it is but I, I think it's got round nails in it so i'd say it's after 1900 but it's older it's building <clears throat> and uh, we rope out the, our horses if we weren't leaving from headquarters we'll have horses in the rock pens right there where the saddle house the saddle house makes one side of the pens and we rope horses out there <coughs> and then once we've got each got our horses caught, we can saddle with some light. That is, you've got light in the in the saddle house itself, and be, there was there's an bulb a, a fixture outside the wall there, <clears throat> so enough where a man can get get saddled and get ready to leave. Usually we'll do that way before light, and then uh, go in the mess hall and, and have a big breakfast. And, then take out, you know, head out. Another whole group of these these pen these pen and ink India ink ink drawings and and uh, and different sizes and different shapes. Here, so I, I call this one worn out. It's you know the best thing for them is wet wet saddle blankets and for them to get get worn out. And then this horse right up in here, hanging down right here. That's a, what we call a running martingale. And you take your reins and run them through those rings and that'll help that horse kind of <clears throat> stay gathered up, keep his head down a little bit and operate a little bit better. And uh, <clears throat> so you can see he's had that, the fellow's been fooling with that. He's working on this horse. And, but these, these guys are just worn out and standing there now. It's the best thing for them. So at different phases of, uh, of this, the horse life and the cowboy life, uh, this guy, he's waiting on his turn to, to, to drag one to the fire. I got him, we got a big old loop out here, and it looks like he's just waiting on the irons to get hot. I think that's what I call it, waiting on the irons. <clears throat> Another friend of mine, Nick Ocker, and he's just traveling, traveling light out, out, out across the country uh, on one that's behaving pretty well. And a, another another guy using getting getting some use out of one guy. I think I call that stretching one out over there. So uh, <clears throat> kind of this is really represents <laughs> several months of work, and uh, but it was all work that I just absolutely loved, and I'd had a had a health concern last winter and, and it, 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 this was a way kind of celebrating getting over back surgeries and stuff and go in here and get this stuff done and just pour myself into it and it's been a labor of love and, and uh, I hope y'all get some enjoyment out of it uh, and thank you for 
being with me for this thing. 